we're getting it all set up to move the cows down down the hill and across Jim and Deb's driveway to our back um, yard basically <laughs> so we're opening this all up we have the lines all done at the bottom of the hill Paul's just moving that so they don't couldn't hear him so I had to shut this off he wants me to follow him up I moved a little bit and they like went running sideways. Jeez. I have a feeling they're going to beat him down. He's supposed to videotape them coming down the hill, but I think they're going to beat him down. Now there's a little calf over there I got to get behind. Get going. You gotta watch out for the big scary girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're running. I love that. I sure hope Paul got the video of them coming down, kicking up their heels. He, it still sounds like he's driving the side by side. I don't think he got it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna run. So I think I probably shut this off. Cause it'll be all jostly. Probably curly.
already down. You guys about ready? Come on. problem jumping out under it to get out. Now that's that one's got some pink eye in it. Come on, get back in there. Get back in there. Come on, get in there. Keep going. Get under there. Come on. You want to go in. I can get under there. Come on. All right. Time to put the phone down. They're all up in the back field now. We had one calf. She was out on the road. And then she went and got back under. But then she came out the other side of our neighbor's driveway. So um, I just got up behind her and she went through the fence. So that's good. Paul's making sure the other side is closed and then I'm gonna close up this side. And then we'll take down our makeshift fences. Paul cut hay down yesterday. We're supposed to wet bale it tonight, but so far it's like really moist feeling out. And it's the hay that he cuts pretty thick. So not sure if it's gonna get dry and we're supposed to get rain tonight. So we shall see. their mineral sled and their water down to them. You can see where the pigs are down there. You can see the trailer backed into the sorting pen. Way back there. That's where I'm bucket feeding the pigs for the next couple of days. We load out 10. We'll sort and take 10 to the butcher on Tuesday. I don't know where the sun is. We have some hay down gonna be high moisture hay but boy, I hope the sun comes out soon because it needs to be wielded quite a bit more it's really thick stuff and I think the moisture is still gonna be way too high I need I need at least a few hours of sun and I'll even stir it around some with the tether just because it is so thick and leafy but yeah out to the east it looks a little brighter not much. That's yeah, early yet.
Paul's coming over with the mineral feeder and their water. There's a water hookup right down there. Girl. The bull's up here someplace. I'm just trying to figure out where he's at. So a little story, this here Jill, 
who's been with us for quite some time, had, she saved Paul. Um, he got in between, we had a, a cow um, that whenever she calves, she was like crazy with her calf. I mean, they're all protective, but they've also are mild mannered and come to trust Paul. Well, um, Paul didn't realize he was between the mom and her calf and she was headed straight toward Paul to plow into him. And um, Jill went straight into her and cracked like, head, like head butted her to get her to stop. So that was pretty neat. Coincidence or was she protecting Paul? All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch our channel, our videos. Have a great day. This one here is waiting for me to fall down, I can tell. <laughs> I'm going I'm going down the hill, it's pretty steep. Oh, there's Y. I was wondering where he was. There's our bull. This one, I think is sneaking up on me. She's gone by me.